becoming a pro wrestler another day another episode and in today's episode i'm going to be formatting this video a little bit different because i am going to be showcasing the main things that i learned throughout my three training sessions this week so in the first training session one of the main things that i learned how to do was throw kicks the key to having a good kick is to pretty much point your toes upwards that way you're keeping your opponent as safe as possible i struggled with kicks a little bit just because there's always that fear of just making sure you don't actually hit your opponent and obviously it's a little bit harder to do that with your legs so this was me repping out a few kicks just trying to get used to the motions After that, another move that I learned how to do was a snap mate. A snap mayor is a very simple and very effective way to pretty much transition into a hold. It's a very common and very effective move and you've probably seen it in a lot of wrestling matches. I honestly struggled with this a little bit just because of footwork. I, I was sort of getting a little bit tangled up with my feet. But again, this is me repping it out a few times just trying to get used to the motions. <laughs> After that, it was time to put it all together with a sequence that we were taught in class. The cool thing about this sequence is that it consists of selling. So I was pretty much able to showcase my instincts when it comes to selling and pretty much get to see where I'm at in regards to performing on the fly and communicating with my opponent. This is what it looked like the first time around. <laughs> As you can see, it, it, it kind of looked a little awkward. It, it, it didn't look good. But the second time around, I think I picked it up a little bit better. And after that, uh, something funny happened. So I was talking about chops with one of the advanced students and he saw that I had a camera and he said that if I wanted to, he could chop me for like a video. And obviously I was very hesitant at first just because he's a big dude and it's that idea of knowing that you're just gonna voluntarily feel pain. There's nothing you can do about it. You know it's gonna hurt and there's, uh, there's no way of escaping it. But even though I was hesitant, I knew that it would be cool for the video, so I agreed. And let me just say, not a pleasant experience. You're running it? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it on? That's the beauty of pro wrestling, for sure. <laughs> so for the second training session, not many people stayed after practice, so I was pretty much by myself. So I decided to sort of like try to conquer my fears and work on some cool things in the ring. One of the first things that I worked on was getting into the ring in like a jumping and rolling manner. I'm so sorry, I really don't know the name of it, but you'll see what I mean. <sighs> some hang time. 
But yeah, I thought honestly I, I did pretty decent. Like again, I sort of conquered my fear a little bit and I just ended up doing it. And of course, speaking of conquering fears, what I'm about to do next is something that we always do at the beginning of class. And I, I just sort of was never really able to do it properly because I was scared. But listen, again, I know I say that about everything, blah, blah, blah. But, but you'll see why this one could potentially scare someone. <laughs> After that, I very quickly decided to work on jumping off the second rope and trying to touch my toes in the air, just because it's very similar to doing a leapfrog. And I wasn't able to do it in class, and the coach was like, come on, like, are you serious? I know you could do that. Another thing that I always felt like I could potentially do better was banderas. So a banderas is pretty much when you put your chest onto the turnbuckle and you exit out of the ring into the apron. I feel like I could always improve upon this because all the advanced students, when they do it, they pretty much just like, imagine this is a turnbuckle. They're literally like this, like their legs are just up in the air and they, they just got some crazy hang time. I've never really been able to do that. So I decided to work on it here. <laughs> I uh, decided to work on a shoulder kick up. I'm usually able to do these, but I do these with my head. So I use my head as the base in order to push off. And a lot of the advanced students use their shoulders. So the moment they feel their shoulders hitting the mat, they immediately kick up. And that's what I was trying to do. And this is how it went. <laughs> And finally, after that, I decided to do a drill that we were taught in class, which is pretty much running the ropes and doing a slide, a roll, and then some T-grays. I wanted to do this drill on camera because I wanted to see what my rope running is looking like. I've gone through a lot of ups and downs when it comes to rope running. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing it properly, and other days I just feel like I'm doing it terribly. But looking back at the footage, I thought it was kind of cool to see because, and I mean this in the most humble way possible, but I kind of look like a pro wrestler. Please don't roast me. Please don't come at me. I just, I just thought it looked cool. And yeah, this is what it looked like. I'm tired. So for my third and final training session, I was honestly just sort of like trolling. So I always felt like the buckshot lariat was like the forbidden move in wrestling. Only a select few number of wrestlers do it. Most notably Hangman Adam Page and Logan Paul. And it's a move that if you execute it properly, it looks amazing. People love it. But if you're not able to execute it properly, people are just ruthless. Like they do not care. For example, CM Punk. He wasn't able to execute the move properly. Obviously he fell. Then people People were just ruthless. Like, they did not care. They just went at him. So, I wanted to see if I could do the forbidden move in wrestling. And maybe, hopefully, in the future, if I'm worthy, be able to actually add it into my arsenal of moves. So, this is how it went. All right, buff shot, Larry. Let's run it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to die right now. I don't know what's the worst that could happen, though. I don't think I could. Like, I think I'm flipping either way. I don't think I'm falling on my head. Would you mind, like, if you post up, like, as a base for, like, the money clip? I can't just think about it. Oh, okay, that's doable. That's that's doable. <laughs> Honestly, I 
thought that went well. But I'm not gonna speak too much on it because again, that move is like the forbidden move in all of wrestling. So I'm just gonna let you state your opinion. And after that, again, this was just kind of stupid and it's uh, self-explanatory, so this is it. All right, so I just saw Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay. As a result of that, I want to attempt to learn how to do a backflip. Will Ospreay, I know you're a heel, man, but can you help me out? I think I did something. I did something. There's definitely gonna be a part two. And yeah, that was pretty much my week when it comes to wrestling. You made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you can consider hitting the like and subscribe button. If not, that's okay. Hopefully you're able to join me on this journey to show the whole world that no light can outshine a superstar, which is exactly what I'm trying to become. So yeah, thank you.